Good morning, everybody. The lighting is like this because it's always like this in the morning. I'm, I'm already running behind. <laughs> okay, so it's currently 8.30 in the morning. So you're gonna come with me. We're gonna get ready. We're going to Toronto. I'm so excited. And then I have a cute little clothing haul. I'm so excited. But I'll show you more about that. Like I said, I have a little haul for you guys. That big mess on my bed is all the clothes that Dress V um, sent over to me. First, this top, actually. I love these kind of tops. These little, like, cardigan, like, crop little knit tops. You know what I mean? I have a purple one and I have, like, a beige one as well. So I saw this one and, guys, I'm, like, not a color person at all. But I was like, okay, let me add some color into my wardrobe. So it's like pink and peach stripe. This actually came as part of a matching set. So cute. The bottom. These are the bottoms. It's like this white pleated tennis skirt. Unfortunately, this doesn't fit my waist. I think I'm gonna give it to my sister, see if it fits her. It has like, I don't know how to show this, but it has like built-in shorts as well. I'm gonna pray that this fits my sister. That is that. But this top still fits stretchy and like really comfortable. Okay, and then next onto these jeans. I actually love these jeans. They're these black jeans, and it's like those jeans that have oh sorry this tag it has this cross band let me go back it's like straight leg all the way down I have this in different colors too i just didn't have black jeans and i wanted a pair so i got it in black so that's that okay next i'm going to do actually now that i think about it this set this with a tennis skirt might have been one size don't quote me on that but i feel like it might have been this next piece was also one size but i thought that it looked baggy enough i really like wearing collared tops by the way i used to wear them all the time until quarantine hit and then like i just stocked up on loungewear this is like such a pretty blouse that i saw and i was like this is so pretty it's like just a normal normal white collared like white button down nothing special until you get to this shoulder and it's like off the shoulder asymmetrical collar i thought it was so pretty let me try it on for you guys so this is what this top looks like you know what i mean when i say like asymmetrical collar like this and it has a little like strap it has a strap here to like hold it in place this is my bra strap but this is the actual strap and it's like white oh my god i don't know why i just think that it's so pretty like okay this is a fit you know what i mean and it's like not see-through it's really good quality too i don't know this is pretty like should i take this to toronto i do have another white button down i love a white button down I I think white button downs look good on everybody. I have another white button down situation. I just bought this thinking that I would just get this, which is just a sheer button down. This is such a staple, just like a sheer white button down. It's like super airy and super flowy. I saw how the model like styled it on the website and I was like, oh, I want to do it like that, which is she wore like a black bandeau underneath. I thought it looked so good. So I was like, okay, I have something similar to a black bandeau. So I think that I can do that. Except when I received it, it came with a black bandeau too. So that was a lovely surprise. So let me wear this and I'll show you what I mean. Here's this top together i feel like the lighting's weird so you can't see it i have like the black bandeau underneath okay i feel like this is also fit too but the only thing is that the sleeves <laughs> the sleeves are quite short so i think that i would have to do a little fabric it's like such nice material i feel like you can wear a lot of other things underneath this not just this black bandeau should i bring this to toronto oh my gosh so many options okay and then i actually ordered something different i ordered like a two-piece situation that was so cute but they sent me the wrong one they sent me the wrong dress but luckily it does fit so i'm gonna try it on anyway it's like a black velvet little dress with a slit so i'll show you that okay so here is this dress on it's like a velvety material i feel like you can see here i feel like it hits mid oh, let me jump so you can see at my knee lit here too which i think is very pretty there are straps in the back as well except i didn't know if there were four so i just tied it it's a very pretty dress i just didn't order it it's really stretchy like it feels like pajamas really really stretchy i actually wish that this was like in white or like a lighter color i feel like that would be really pretty too anyway not that i have any occasions to wear this too there you go this is that final one okay hi everyone sorry i forgot to also say you can use my code sunny10 sunny10 i'm um, to get a 10 percent discount so yeah i forgot to say that sunny10 for 10 percent off i will have it all linked in the description okay so i think that i have everything oh see this is like that very similar top that i said i have i feel like i want to have like one home outfit one dance outfit and one going out outfit that i'm gonna wear for like five days straight yeah so it's between which is better i may ask my roommate actually the thought was that no one saw coming my roommate the most indecisive person ever i think i'm gonna ask my instagram whoever sees it you guys can decide for me okay so i think that the majority of you guys so far have been saying the purple one so i'm gonna bring the purple one. Oh my gosh my toast my toast okay <laughs> i changed again because i'm gonna be sitting down on the bus for a long period of time so i'm not trying to look cute so that's my one going out outfit but i'm also just bringing comfortable things so. let's go have breakfast but yeah i think i need to leave in like half an hour oh, someone texted me I have all my stuff. Let's go. This is really gonna test, again, my ability to vlog in public. <laughs> my Union Station now. I need to find the subway. Look at this pretty one. Station. We're on the subway now. The subway always scares me. Good thing I had an education with that guy. Why is it so zoomed in? I'm looking for a birthday card. 
Okay, so I made it. I just need to wait to be let into the building now. I literally missed the street that I was supposed to turn at. I kept walking too far. Good news is that I found a store that I went into and I bought a card. It was so pretty. Oh my gosh, someone's coming out. I might go. Okay, I made it to my sister's apartment. We're eating popcorn. Part reveal. That's it. <laughs> I'm reading Gathering of Shadows, which is the second book in the Darker Shade of Magic series. 77% of the way through. I'm gonna lie down here and see if I can finish it. I probably won't be able to, but like see how far I can get. Okay, so I got my sister off with her friends. Now we're, I'm going back. I realized my AirPods weren't even charged though, and I started blasting Gracie Eight Friends in the middle of the Toronto street. Like I said, now I'm more self conscious vlogging, but I feel like I just have to be shameless about it. No, I can't. So I'm trying to make something to eat for dinner now. I was trying to get the rice cooker to work, but I couldn't get it to work. The toaster's broken, so I'm literally frying bread on a frying pan. And I have yogurt. This has just been me exposing my sister in her apartment for like an entire video, so sorry. It's all right. Abort mission. I'm cooking rice for like one serving in that little pot. Look at this bread. <laughs> Casualties, travesty. Uh, okay, let's actually go finish a gathering of shadows now. Genuinely want to finish it. I have to finish it. Oh, assuming the position. Oh, actually, no, I brought my stand. I learned from last time. I brought my tripod. Ow. I also brought like three bags of popcorn. Okay, it's 6.30. Now I'm going to eat dinner. I feel like I have to assume the position, which is like the one knee up cradling the food. You know the vibes. I am my father's daughter. I can literally hear the elevator dinging. That means that everybody on this floor can hear me walking. Bye. Guys, I failed. I failed at the stovetop rice. I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's- I added way too much water. Okay, listen, this is my first time trying this. I was always a spoiled Asian child who always used a rice cooker, but this one was being racist to me, and so now I have to eat chuk. Do you guys know chuk? Like kanji? I think kanji is what it is in English. Okay, I think I can make chuk with this, except my sister doesn't have any ingredients because she never cooks. I swear. I swear that I was born on Korean soil, everybody. I swear we're gonna salvage this. Okay, update. I think for now, I actually don't mind the rice being this consistency. I put into this bowl. For now, I'm gonna add gochujang. I have kim here. Gotta do what you gotta do. This is so embarrassing. Okay, bye. Hello, it's 9.30 p.m. now. Crusty in my pajamas, but my sister says that she likes this look. Pink hair matches my pink t-shirt, by the way. This will be my last update for today. I finished A Gathering of Shadows. I don't think that I'm gonna read the last book. I feel like I need to like space it out. Like distance makes the heart grow fonder. I have been meaning to finish the Ember Quartet forever. I feel like the biggest break between A Torch Against the Night. I'm trying to read A Reaper at the Gates now that I forgot everything that happened in like the first two books. I've been trying to do my homework. I've been on Wikipedia and like Summary Saver and stuff trying to like look at reading cats and try to remember everything that happened so it's gonna be all good night good morning welcome to another day i didn't vlog yesterday it's my pencil i didn't vlog yesterday because i went to the bookstore yesterday and i made a whole completely separate video about that i feel like it should be up before this goes up so yeah go watch that i don't have to do anything today except visit my friend in the evening i think i decided that i don't want to go out or do anything i literally just want to stay in and read a reaper at the gates now i think i'm just gonna go to galleria which is like the korean grocery store that's like super close to here where i normally live like near my school there like isn't any of that so i feel like i need to take advantage of this opportunity um yeah i'm gonna go get the ingredients because i didn't do it yesterday to go salvage the terrible rice that i made i'm gonna make it into rice porridge so i need to get like zucchini carrot like things like that thought that we could go do that also this is because i washed my face <laughs> so we're gonna do that let's go like i said i brought such minimal clothes with me so this is what we're going I think I like the mornings in Toronto. Everything else about Toronto I don't love. I want to go to this coffee shop. I feel like I'm getting better at this public blogging thing. I can't get distracted. I need to just find ingredients. Oh, they had pre-made rice here. We could have avoided all of this. Did you know that sunde? This is like probably one of my all-time favorite foods. I love chokbae too. This looks so good. <gasps> oh, stop. I love old things. Welcome to the kitchen. So chefs, what I have prepared for you today. Okay, actually no, let me first show you the state of the rice. The failed rice that I made. It looks like plain rice porridge right now because I added like seasoning and stuff. So what I'm gonna put inside, I bought these little carrots. I tried to find like the smallest portion size. Okay, and then I bought these little zucchinis, peppers, chili peppers. I put so many green onions when I eat anything. I love, I love green onions. And then I decided to get the squid, seasoned squid and veggie. Ojingo yachi buchi. Oh, I want to eat it too. I just want to try it right now. Okay, I chopped up everything. This is my rice. I need to chop up that. Gilmore Girls. Oh my gosh, it's hurt someone outside. Ta-da! Okay, now I'm hungry. Okay, see, so here's my rice porridge, and these are my green onions. I literally put so much green onion in. I love green onion. Hold all your questions till the end. One apple tea. Ta-da! Go off, Florelai. Ah, he's so fine. Freaking Jess Mariano. The love of my life. Yeah, it's that easy if you try. Hey, the girls that I like don't give a damn about me. Oh my gosh, guys, it's the most elite scene of Gilmore Girls. If you know, you know. Wet hair is so romantic if you know, you know. Ah! Here it is. Who are you looking for? No one. Corey, stop. 
What's the matter? Other than the fact you're obviously out of towel. And then he just like, goes, he just goes off without saying anything. Or, or even... They made it look so easy. They made it look so easy. Press down, give it a good twist. Oh my all. gosh, well, thank you. so good. Oh my so god. So gonna do the Harvard thing. Okay. Literally changed my mind. The best scene in like all of Gilmore Girls. Was that scene, the sprinkler scene. I'm about to make myself a cup of tea. Something literally never changed. I can't figure out for the life of me the light system in this apartment. Also, I forget if I told you, but when I was in the elevator coming back up this morning, I was in the elevator with this couple, and then I pressed I pressed the button for my floor, and then they pressed the button for their floor, and it was the penthouse floor. From the moment that my sister moved into this apartment complex, and I saw that there was a penthouse floor, I was like, oh my gosh, I literally just want to go up. One of these days, I literally just want to be on hinge and just go up to the penthouse floor, just so that I can see who lives there. Hopefully, it's going to be like a young, eligible bachelor, and I'm going to make him fall in love with me, so that I can live a Lux life and be straight out of a Wattpad story and have that happen to me. I also made my tea here look at that gorgeous amazing perfect good morning everybody very excited for today oh my gosh i look really tired anyway there's a library here in toronto that's apparently huge and like so beautiful and, like so good to study in and stuff and on top of that i'm pretty sure it's like a rainy day today so let's go to the library excited let's go i don't know if i've like shared this on my channel yet literally one of my favorite podcasts ever i'm such a big fan is goes without saying so i'm listening to the new episode i love this podcast highly recommend bring my laptop oh i need to get a new case laptop charger and ipad i need to put on jeans instead of just my shorts i'm gonna hope that it doesn't start raining while i walk not because i don't love the rain because i do but because this is the only shirt that i have <laughs> i have nothing to change into it's kind of a boring ootd but i thought that i would show you guys pretty sure all this is from h&m have my bag with me keys phone oh put on my airpods so i can listen to my queen's sefi and wing hello Let's go. It's like spitting a little bit, but luckily it's not like pouring, pouring. Even though I love when it's pouring, pouring and walking when it's pouring, pouring. Rain is like my favorite weather. If you've been here, you know this. Rain is literally my favorite weather. Not just raining while I'm inside, but like if it starts raining and especially if it starts like downpouring, I will like sprint across the world in order to be outside and just be poured on. We're here. I really feel like I'm in Wonderland. It's so quiet in here. Going up another floor. But look at this. Oh my god, look at this, guys. There's literally like five floors. I'm going up another floor. Oh, look at this. Guys, this was kind of a mistake because I'm so scared of heights. I have vertigo like crazy, but look at these little pods. I'm the biggest scaredy cat. I need to make it to the top floor. I'm gonna try to either sit there. Oh my god, I have so much anxiety right now. Oh my god, I hate heights. <laughs> the vertigo is so bad. Oh my god. Finally sat down. Let me show you guys my view. Look at that. And that's the elevator. Almost one o'clock now. I'm gonna speak this close so that you can hear me. I think I'm gonna go grab food. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh wait, what? Oh my gosh, wait, I've gone too low. I've gone too low. I'm doing the most Canadian thing ever. I'm getting Tim. Let me read my book. Okay, my sister just called me and I actually have to go home because I have the keys. This song has been stuck in my head, so we're gonna have, we're gonna have a little Ari vibe sesh right now. <laughs> Obviously, like the first song that I want to play, the first time that I like get my own apartment or move out for the first time, I don't know why, it gives me like those vibes. This is for my first heartbreak. Anyway, probably gonna spend the rest of my time reading. Oh my gosh, my hair looks like not completely dead black in this light. I'm just gonna start the vlog here. I have many floors to go down. I'm just going to finish by myself for the day until the evening where I'm meeting up with a friend. But I literally just wanted to go because I went last time briefly and it looked so fun. I want to go have like pink suit and read my book. As I was saying, I'm gonna take the subway to a street called Finch in Toronto. And there are just so many cute places that I saw. I want to go to this cafe that. <laughs> I just exited this random building. I really have no idea where I am or if I'm even allowed to be here. Where is this place? <laughs> Definitely not the street that I was aiming for. Okay, updates. <laughs> I think I found the right street. And I just came to this H Mart because I saw it on the way. Look at all the ice cream. Update 10 out of 10. I've just been walking, looking at all the stores. 
first of all, the weather's really nice because there's shade now. Came across this random little park where there's no one here. Perfect. There's a little path here. I'm gonna walk down this and just have the best time of my life listening to Sefi and Wing. By the way, from my hometown, there are like no high-rise buildings. But being in a neighborhood where they're like high-rise buildings like this is actually really strange for me. <laughs> it's like a little playground in the distance. But look at this little gazebo thing here. Let me try to set you up. Oh my gosh. Should I try to finish my book? Okay, I'm gonna go head to that cafe now. Oh my gosh, guys, funny story. I literally think that that cafe is closed like on Tuesdays. In the end, I literally just got Starbucks. I just needed to find somewhere that had Wi-Fi and I could sit down. So that is where I am. And then I can wait for my friend to get here. Oh my gosh, I look so crusty. Bye. Sorry, I'm laughing at myself <laughs> so everybody can witness what a clown I am. So embarrassed that I looked like this when it happened. I went and got food and I went to Freshy, right? The worker there who took my order was so... <laughs> he was so cute. Guys, fun fact is that I'm like, I'm so shy. When it comes to like this, I'm so shy. Her name is Steven <laughs> and you work at the Freshy at Finch. I was like... Shy. I kept having to ask him to repeat the things that he was saying to me. I think that he was like laughing at me because I kept being like, sorry. And he was like, oh, do you want your receipt? But I was like wanting to get away because I was shy. And so I was like already leaving. He was like, oh, do you want your receipt? And I came back. I was like, oh, sorry. And he was like, do you want your receipt? And I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, shout out to you, Steven. Hope you had a good day at work. I was acting like a whole fool in that fresh sheet. I was nervous for no reason. Okay, I'm gonna go. By the way, I mixed my bowl and this is what it looks like. Guys, already know what's going on. Oh, Bring your hands in. Like, don't show your face. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The which is like a right cakey blossom. Cakey blossom. No. I need to gatekeep your face, not for free. Oh, my body's gonna die. I'm heading back home. Good morning. Literally 7.22 a.m. and I'm out. Friend is picking me up, take me back home at like 10, except my sister needed to leave at like 7 and she has the keys, right? Plan is to just waste time here. Probably reading. Once again, I'm out of Tim's. I use my Tim's gift card. I might even sit here and edit while I watch Gilmore Girls. Feeling keen today. Yeah, I don't want English muffin. That's muffin, but that's the real style. Okay, this is a precarious situation, but yeah, I'm going and I'll explain the book that I actually started reading. I did some editing. Okay, now that I'm sad, I can explain what book I'm reading. So I actually started reading Bunny on my like Kobo, but in Tim Hortons, I think I was watching Destiny's like newest video and she was reading one of the books in the Dirty Air series, I think Collided. And then everyone has been recommending me this series like since I started my channel. So I randomly decided that I want to start reading it. And so I have it on iBook. I started reading it on my phone. I think that it's a romance series about like Formula One race car drivers. I watched this interview on YouTube randomly with this formula one driver and i was like amazing news excited to say that i'm finally back home it feels so good to be back home literally such a home body oh my gosh can i just say that <laughs> the dirty air series might just have me in a chokehold right now i'm not gonna lie i have a lot of editing to do i have a lot of work to do so i'm gonna end the video here but thanks so much for watching be sure to subscribe follow me on my socials if you aren't already and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye